Math 5 Quarter 2 Week 2 Lesson 1 Milk Base Let's learn about Rounding decimal numbers to the nearest hundreds and thousands Hello kids! It's me, Teacher Frel Don't forget to subscribe Like and share and hit the notification bell for the latest video you can also follow my facebook page teacher frel tv welcome back kids for today's lesson in math 5 we will discuss about rounding decimal numbers to the nearest hundreds and thousands from the previous lesson you have learned reading and writing decimals. After going through this lesson, you are expected to Round decimal numbers to the nearest hundreds and thousands. Read and analyze the given problem. Observe the position of the answer in the number line. Let us read the problem. Diana climbed a 314-meter hill. If there are 1,000 meters in 1 kilometer, what part of the hill did Diana climb? Round to the nearest hundreds. To determine the part of the hill that Diana climbed, we need to change the meter into kilometer. Since 1,000 meters is equivalent to 1 kilometer, then in fraction form, it becomes 314 thousandths. Now, 314 divided by 1,000 equals 314 thousands. Using number line from the diagram, it is easy to see that 314 thousands is nearer to 310 thousands than 320 thousands. So, 314 thousand is rounded to 310 thousands. To round decimals to hundreds and thousands, let us consider these steps. First, identify the digit to be rounded off. Second, inspect the digit to the right of the required place. If the digit is greater than 5, add 1 to the digit at the required place. If the digit is less than 5, retain the digit at the required place. Then, Drop all the digits to the right of the required place. Study the illustration. 314 thousands. Rounding place is hundreds. The digit in the hundreds place is 1. Then, look at the digit to the right. The digit to the right is less than 5. So, it means it rounds down. If the digit is less than 5, rounds down. 314,000 rounded to the nearest hundreds is 31 hundreds. And now, let us do learning task 1. Round each item to the nearest hundreds. Let us do first rounding to the nearest hundreds. For number 1, the digit in the hundreds place is 9. Then inspect the digit to the right which is 7. If the digit is greater than 5, add 1 to the digit at the required place. So the answer is 10 and 60 hundreds. Number 2, the digit in the hundreds place is 5. Then inspect the digit to the right, which is 5. If the digit is 5, add 1 to the digit at the required place. Add 1 to the digit 5. So the answer is... 20 and 26 hundreds. Number 3, the digit in the hundreds place is 5. And then the digit to the right place is 5. Now you have to add 1 to the digit in the hundreds place. So the answer is 554 and 26 hundreds. For number 4, the digit in the hundreds place is 4. Then the digit to the right is 7. It is greater than 5. So it means add 1 to 4. The answer is 
11 and 25 hundreds. For number 5, the digit in the hundreds place is 8, and the digit to the right is 4, which is less than 5. So that means retain the digit at the required place. Retain 8. The answer is 20 and 38 hundreds. Now let's do rounding to the nearest thousands. For number 1, the digit in the thousands place is 7. So retain the number. The answer is 10 and 597 thousands. Number 2. The digit in the thousands place is 5. Then the digit to the right is 3. 3 is less than 5, so that means retain the digit 5. The answer is 20 and 255 thousands. Next, number 3, the digit in the thousands place is 2. Then the digit to the right is 0. It is less than 5, so that means retain the digit 2 and the answer is... 554 and 262 thousands. Number 4. The digit in the thousands place is 7. Now, the digit to the right is 5. So, that means add 1 to 7. The answer is 11 and 248 thousands. And for number 5, the digit in the thousands place is 4. Then, the digit to the right is 2. It is less than 5. It means, retain the digit 4. The answer is, 20 and 384 thousands. Now, for learning task 2, get the quotient of each item up to the nearest 10 thousands place. Then, round the decimals to their nearest thousands. Number 1, 45 divided by 8 equals 5 and 6,250 ten thousands. The digit in the thousands place is 5. Then the digit to the right is 0. It is less than 5. So retain the digit 5. The answer is 5 and 625 thousands. Number 2. 77 divided by 9 equals 8 and 5,555 ten thousands. The digit in the thousands place is 5. The digit to the right is 5, so you have to add 1. The answer is 8 and 556 thousands. Number 3. 81 divided by 7 equals 11 and 5,714 ten thousands. The digit in the thousands place is 1. Then the digit to the right is 4. It is less than 5. That means retain the digit 1. The answer is 11 and 571 thousands. Number 4. 93 divided by 9 equals 10 and 3,333 ten thousands. The digit in the thousands place is 3. And the digit to the right is 3. It is less than 5. That means retain the digit 3. The answer is... 10 and 333 thousands. Number 5. 88 divided by 7 equals 12 and 5,714 ten thousands. The digit in the thousands place is 1. Then the digit to the right is 4. It is less than 5. So that means retain the digit 1. So the answer is 12 and 571 thousands. And number 6, 55 divided by 8 equals 6 and 8,750 ten thousands. The digit in the thousands place is 5. Then the digit to the right is 0. 0 is less than 5 so that means you have to retain the digit 5. The answer is 6 and 875 thousands. And now for learning task 3, solve the given problems. Number 1. What is the smallest decimal in hundreds rounded to 5 tenths? Correct! The answer is 45 hundreds is the smallest decimal. Number 2. What is the largest decimal in hundreds rounded to 5 tenths? 
Correct! The answer is 54 hundredths. It is the largest decimal rounded to 5 tenths. Number 3. 1 centimeter is equivalent to about 3,937 ten thousands inch. Round off the given equivalent to the nearest hundreds. 3,937 ten thousands. The digit in the hundreds place is 9. Then the digit to the right is 3, less than 5. So you have to retain the digit 9. The answer is 39 hundreds. For number 4, Mrs. Ed Lagan has a total deposit of 50,766 and 25 centavos. The annual interest at 3%, simple interest is 1,522 and 9,875 centavos. Round the interest off to the nearest hundreds and thousands. 1,522 and 9,875 ten thousands. Let's round first to the nearest hundreds. The digit in the hundreds place is 8. Then the digit to the right is 7. It is greater than 5. So you have to add 1 to 8. The answer is 1,522 and 99 hundreds. Then round off to the nearest thousands. The digit in the thousands place is 7. Then the digit to the right is 5. So that means add 1 to 7. The answer is 1,522 and 988 thousands. So kids, are your all answers correct? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learned a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!